Greetings and welcome to my unboxing video. Today I'm going to be unboxing an Ibanez Micro GSRM20 short scale base that I got from Sweetwater with a gift card. Um, I have a medical weight restriction right now so I'm going to be doing this all on the floor <clears throat> till after, at least till after I verified the weight of this particular base. So let's get to it. I have to say, things you buy from Sweetwater are very well packaged. And they come with candy. I'm afraid I don't have any kind of um, tripods or anything where I can get it closer. But, okay, here it is in the packaging. Comes with a set of Allen keys for adjustments of the truss rod and bridge. The documentation. Get this all unwrapped. see what we've got. That is a thing of beauty, in my humble opinion. Um, the one I got is, the, this particular one I got is black. It's got the plastic over the, the pickups. Um, looks to be pretty decently set up, although I have to admit I'm no expert. So let me grab my scale and we'll get a weight on this thing. Here I have a um, postal scale that goes up to 25 pounds. Let's turn it on. Zero it. Let's see what this says. Okay, I have 6.9 pounds. So it is definitely under my 10 pound weight limit. Um, and I actually have a pacemaker, so the weight of my guitars is something that I keep an eye on. Because I don't need to have extra weights put in, pushing on that, uh, that pacemaker. Let's get the packaging out of the way. Get it ready to play and we'll see what it sounds like. One thing that I do want to check, I almost forgot about, is I have a case that I believe it should fit in. It definitely fits in there. Does it feel secure? Now there is some movement, but if you pack it toward the side and make sure that you carry it either toward the side and the bottom and make sure that you carry it either with the handle or upright, um, you shouldn't get too much movement, plus the, the case is quite well padded, so even if you have some movement, it, I don't think it should be a problem. Okay, I can't seem to find anything in the documentation that tells me about the controls, but I assume that you have a volume control for the P-style pickups, a volume control for the J-style pickup, and a master tone. That's the assumption I'm going with. Okay, apparently I was incorrect. There is a master volume, a total master volume, that activates the P pickups. And there is a volume control for the J pickup that you have to have the P pickup, the master volume up, in order to activate the J pickup, apparently. I don't know if that's correct or not. I do want to get a hold of Sweetwater and make sure that 
Um, this is supposed to be a master volume control that controls all the pickups. And then this one, the second volume control, just activates the P pickup or the Jape style pickup with the P pickups active. So it turns out my suspicion was correct. The volume controls are supposed to be independent. The front volume control controlling the neck P style pickups and the rear volume control controlling the J style bridge pickup. So I got a hold of Ryan Sloan, the sales engineer that I work with at Sweetwater, and he had Michael Barden, one of the guitar techs, get in touch with me. He got back to me within two days, sent me out a replacement that same day for my next day delivery and a re uh, return, the UPS return label to send the defective one back. So I got the new one, um, let it acclimate for a day, uh, unpackaged it. I did do a, a basic setup on this um, and oiled the neck, changed the strings. Um, so let's get to some tones and see what it sounds like. So that's my unboxing video with the customer service update and tones. Hope you enjoyed it.